Will Call of Duty be an exclusive game for Xbox and PC? Probably not. Now, if you haven't heard, Activision has been purchased by Microsoft, which are Xbox people. Now, with this comes obviously the companies like Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Beanox, Toys for Bob, and games like Diablo. Overwatch, Call of Duty, surprisingly Candy Crush, never knew Activision owned Candy Crush, and just overall a bunch of different IPs. One conversation that I've seen being thrown around like crazy left and right is, this means one thing, and that one thing is, Xbox is going to make Call of Duty exclusive. First of all, this is ridiculous. There's no way in my opinion that Xbox will be making Call of Duty exclusive, and there are quite a few reasons that I want to go over in today's video as to why, in my opinion, that is. First thing is, I'm just like a random dude who likes to make YouTube videos on Call of Duty, zombies and just share my opinions so don't fully take this as 100% evidence but you know just kind of don't be fully worried that you're going to have to spend let's say $300 to $500 on a new console because number one the reason why I think Call of Duty will not be an exclusive game on Xbox is it might come in as a loss of money. I'm not a professional in this and I might be talking some very stupid things right now but first of all there is a huge fan base on PlayStation for Call of Duty. Number one there were exclusives on PlayStation for a good few years now. If it was when the DLC cycle was out you were able to access DLCs like a month earlier to now with Modern Warfare, Cold War and also Vanguard just having cut content from the full game. Actually, is there any cut content for Vanguard? I don't think it's as harsh or as big, but Modern Warfare saw that Spec Ops was, you know, totally cut out the full game, only PlayStation had access to it until November of 2020. Then similar with Onslaught Zombies on Cold War, their access was not available to everyone until COD 2021. My opinion, this is a terrible way of having exclusives, but I guess it's better than locking the whole game away. Looking back at Xbox, this is kind of like a reason to maybe make your own exclusives on the console itself, but not lock the whole game off because a lot of people are on PlayStation. A lot of people that play Call of Duty are PlayStation gamers. Now obviously there's a huge fraction of Xbox and PC combined which could probably take over PlayStation but I think it would be kind of a bad thing on Call of Duty's side slash I guess you could say Xbox's side to be like no we're making this exclusive deal with it. I think this would just be a really bad thing and it would throw a lot of people off of the console and just the game itself. If you can't afford a new console it would ruin it. You can afford like a $70 game then a 500 to 300 dollar game and then on top of that purchase the game again unless it's on the game pass which is a whole different story now one thing that i've been seeing also being thrown around is microsoft bought bethesda which is a different company that has made games like doom and fallout and they said that they are planning to make them exclusives but the only difference between bethesda and activision is that activision slash call of duty are online games. Yes, you have games like Halo on Xbox, which are exclusives to that in Microsoft like PCs, but it's a bit different looking at it in that way than a huge IP that has been worldwide famous for so many years and all of a sudden locking it to one console. This will in many ways make people hate the console itself and also I think it's just another reason why it just wouldn't make sense. This is a huge huge multiplayer game which has different implements like warzone you'd make warzone console exclusive is just a ridiculous thing to happen another reason why i don't think call of duty will be an exclusive on xbox is phil spencer who if you don't know is the main person behind the xbox name nowadays he has been the main reason probably why activision has been purchased and he will be the person that will be taking care of call of duty and just activision ips from 2023 and on and he has showed multiple times in the past that exclusivity isn't a huge part of the company's name he was the main reason why minecraft this huge IP as well, wasn't locked off to specifically Microsoft things. He wanted to allow other people to play his game. He wanted to allow other people to own the game. If you watch a documentary, which is specifically done just for like the history of Xbox, there's a huge segment in there where they talk about purchasing Mojang, which stirred up a huge conspiracy theory of, oh, the game will be now exclusive to Xbox. And the main thing that he said that won't happen is, he doesn't want people to stop playing this game. And the same
same thing should happen with Call of Duty. It is such a huge IP, such a huge game worldwide that it would just be stupid for him to not allow the game to be played on PlayStation. So if you're a PlayStation gamer, don't worry. If you're an Xbox gamer, congratulations on this huge dub. If you're specifically, you know, an Xbox person in this console war. Console wars are very stupid. Very, 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 very stupid. But, um, you know, Xbox finally is getting some dubs out there. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. And you know what? Why am I saying you guys? I'm part of this community and part of the PlayStation community because you know what? I like playing games and I don't care what console they're on. I'll still play them. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you just cleared up some stuff and kind of made you more relaxed and maybe not as worried or if you were super hyped maybe disappoint you that playstation will have access to the game itself on playstation but only time will tell we'll see from 2023 and on and probably phil spencer and different people like that will most likely announce what they will be doing with the future of call of duty because you know activision is literally biggest ip thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy the video be sure to subscribe be sure to drop a like at the video we will be doing a lot of videos probably in the future covering this whole activision and xbox situation and just in general doing some fun videos on zombies and call of duty I see it as a huge positive and I think Call of Duty has a huge, huge, great future ahead of us. Thank you all so much. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.